error occurred. Nice. There we go. They know what they did. Cleveland is not innocent. They are not the innocent city that we all know that they that they we think they. Let me see if this is actually working. Cannot. Ahoy, get there, gentlemen. Oh wait, where is it? Program. There we go. Ahoy, big Vinny Diesel Web Lincoln. Good to see you guys after a very long week. It was so fucking stupid. There we go. I missed you guys as well. I missed streaming to you guys. <laughs> So I was editing this week the next president's video and I was making some decent progress and then fucking Wednesday, uh, yeah, I think we call him dementia, <laughs> but on Wednesday, uh, my power decided to go out. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. But my power decided to go out on Wednesday and because of that, I lost a whole day of editing and it pushed back my schedule for the video uh, so it's going to be next week that the president's video comes out um, which is a bummer but I wanted to make sure that it just comes out at a good time Monty no my cat keeps attacking my computer screen so uh, now the title of today's stream yeah, it was a fucking bummer. I was pumped. I was like, I have a whole day to fucking work on. Yeah, anyway. Uh, power's back, as you guys can see. I'm alive. Also, I saw Oppenheimer. Spoiler alert, there's tit in that, so make your uh, adjustments to it. I saw it with my dad. We had no idea that was happening, so that was a fun time to see that. And even in my mid-20s, that is still such an awkward, awkward thing happening in the movies. Oh, hey, Dad. This is happening. Maybe the most awkward sex scene in a movie I've ever seen. I'll be honest. It literally happens at a communist after a communist party meeting, and uh, oh yes, oh yes, your silver. Hold on, my movie fat ass. Uh, I don't know how to put it next to your name on YouTube. Hold on, can I pull this up? But I made, yeah, so I made you a medal. Well, technically I made us medals. So if we do stuff in the future, we can uh, utilize this. Did I capture it? Is it gonna be that? Stop playing, playing the intro. Well, okay, there's a reason it keeps playing the intro. Um, that's because this is a loop. Uh, the real video the real game is behind it um, <laughs> we're not playing the show today <laughs> we're playing this random naval fucking battle game I found on Steam that I've been addicted to the past two nights uh, this is where we're going to be building Vin Diesel's yacht <laughs> and defeating Cleveland for the last time I literally have that file labeled in my fucking computer as fake out. <laughs> I, that's why I was late to stream for a minute because I was getting that file rendered out because I just wanted to set you guys up. <laughs> but hold on, let me show you the gold medal. <laughs> hold on, let me show you this. I do that. Oh wait, no, display capture. It 
It never does that. God damn it. Uh, what did Cleveland do? They know what they did. Hold on. I have to minimize. I mean, this is OBS. You guys don't care about that too much. Ah, okay. Uh, there you go. Um, this is OBS. Here. This is your gold medal. Or, so this is the medal I made for us. <laughs> so, as you can see, you have won not an Olympic medal, but an Olympic medal. And you're going to be an Olympic medalist. And it reads in English, the, the greatest language ever, ever. You did it. And uh, I'll put this up on my Twitter and you'll be able to get this. But, you know, we have it in gold. And because you got second place, you said you got second place in your uh, tournament. <laughs> we got silver. And then we also have bronze. We got it. We got it all here for you context there is none um <laughs> that is something i've been saying for like three years what did they do oh you'll okay let me explain okay let's play capture so olympic yeah olympics so at the old job i was uh when i was a segway tour guide i would say that segwaying is an olympic sport not an olympic sport so i'm just rolling with that uh so in this game wait why is it? Oh God! Is it frozen? Window capture. Why is this frozen? Why is the window for capture frozen? Display capture. Why is that frozen? Hold on. Oh yeah, I worked hard on that. I was like, let me make this fun. Game works. Why is this not? Damn it. Why do you do this to me? Why are you a weird mistress, fucking OBS? <laughs> Game capture. Chose violence by putting that intro on repeat. <laughs> Any specific window. There we go. Able work. Oh my god. There we fucking go. You bought a guitar? What kind of guitar? Now the game is in front of me. Nice. There we fucking go. Now the game is from in front of you. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and then, yes, I'll uh, make PNGs of this. So, like, uh, those. Uh, so, like, flat images with no background. So you can, uh, <laughs> you can print that out for you. I was thinking, like, you can't just have those from the stream. Uh, so Cleveland. Speaking of Cleveland, so I've been playing around with this game. If you've heard of From the Depths, it's another ship-building game, but it's a lot more intricate. It's a lot more detailed. All the guns you uh, have to build for yourself. So, like, the barrels, the weapon systems, you have to do it for yourself. This game, it's a lot more streamlined. You just plop the guns on there, and they will shoot large explosives. You bought a cheap one off Amazon. If you're just learning, that's the best way to do it. Uh... Is that a Vin Diesel t-shirt? I wish. It is Denzel Curry Zoo uh, from a couple years ago when I saw him in concert. I wish, though. But the big thing is they have in this game, so the thing that's under my head, this is your dock. This is where you build your ship. These are like random battles, but in the battle, these are based on real ships. There's the duel of the Cle like dueling the Cleveland which is the cruiser the Cleveland, which is, I believe, a, I think it's the USS Cleveland. It would be the USS Cleveland. It was a light cruiser of the US Navy, which was built during World War II. So it's a very easy ship. Would protect Cleveland. Yeah, so, we have to admit, especially after this past week with J Ram. What up, Prima? Oh, um, Prima, you missed the best fucking reveal. You missed me ducking and covering. 
you missed it. Oh man, I started at, I started the stream out. <laughs> I started the stream out with I was here the whole time, but I w- chose not to chat as I was consuming spaghetti. Is that all of Garden brand spaghetti, or just normal spaghetti? Anyway, we're gonna beat the Cleveland. But here's the thing, um, I'm not really good at this game, <laughs> and I was trying to beat this thing last night. So this thing is way smaller than us, like smaller than this ship I built with a lot of guns. Wait, let me fix the weather. Uh, so this has a lot of guns, big gun, big gun, small gun, small gun, small gun, a bunch of guns. That Cleveland would whoop my fucking ass. What up, Vichin? Why so specific? Uh, because I needed to somehow relate it to baseball. Um, and I realized if I can say Cleveland, we can connect it to baseball. And I think he had a bad series against Cleveland, Vin Diesel. So we are going to, did you seriously work as a Segway tour guide? Yeah. For a few years I was, uh, there was a bunch of photos of me online as a Segway tour guide. Uh, where's my shirt? This is my, this was my uniform. Somehow put big dumper in the game. Oh well, apple juice is lit. Okay, hot take: orange juice, all day beverage. You can fight me on that. Orange juice is an all day beverage. PH, I need your help. Is it? I can help you. You're allowed to stream other things, Phil. I am. I know. That's why I'm streaming this. But uh, so you can put custom flags in this game. And of course, with this. I had to put J J inspo JP inspo. <laughs> That's the flag on this bad boy. Also, this thumbnail reminds me. <laughs> you don't like oranges? Okay, normal oranges. I feel that clementines and like mandarin oranges go hard. Orange juice, if there's no pulp, goes hard. So my new account got banned. J inspo, J inspo. Yeah, exactly. So you can add in your own flags to this game, which is really great because I'll be honest, half of this game community are hardcore weebs and the other half are like hardcore Nazis. <laughs> so they like ha- like add in a shitload of assets to this game that suit their needs. So yeah, Pulp o- OJ is terrible. Why do I want to eat this? Why do I want to eat that? Oh, and put Mick G on it. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking it. we need to find Mick G. I do. I did make a character for uh, Mick G. Uh, you have a cool card art idea. I love it. And I'll talk to you about that after or when we get a chance here, Beechin. So, uh, is this game free? I think it was like $15. I think it was like $15. It's called Naval Art, so my face is covering it up. So the game's name is T. As you can see right next to my head, it's called T. (laughs) Now, it's called Naval Art. Who is Mick G? So at the end of last stream last week, I decided to, like, play The Crew, which is, like, a uh, driving game from a decade ago. But we were going across the country, and... We went to, uh, yeah, so it's kind of expensive for a shovelware game, but I like these sandbox building type games where you can definitely get lost in it, and I think we're definitely going to get our money's worth. I already have like a few hours in it, so if you can get it on sale on Steam, it's definitely worth it. Um, But yeah, Mick G, we were going to all the baseball stadiums in the crew, which is a driving game, and the map is like a is america but kind of shrunk down and summarized but mick g we when we got to seattle the seattle team was called the fielders and at the seattle stadium they had a graphic up and it was a baseball player just named mick g m lowercase c g and that was it (laughs) that was all of it but um so we can start with a new ship we can just start that was like this is the as you guys can see the jpp crawdaddy (laughs) 
this is what it kind of looks like. So this is the cool thing about this game. I keep comparing it to From the Depths. If you if you see, like, I keep referencing that game because uh, the big YouTuber, Martin Cito, he made a, vi a couple videos on From the Depths. But the big thing about that game is it's a very more complicated. There's a steep learning curve to it of you got to balance your weapons, you got to balance your size you got to balance your engine and stuff he's going to be the next protagonist i'll be honest i have been actually thinking about a challenge for mick g uh with the seattle mariners so he's going to be in the mix but today uh this is <laughs> what we're doing but this game what's really cool is we can i'll start new show you when to start a new ship so you just start with a block and boom, you pull up your shit and they have this thing here, which is really nice called the adjustable hull, which is also a term for someone's mom. But you click this then you go here and you go over to the settings and this is like the bottom part of a ship. I've had to learn so many terms for ship parts in the past week. Dude, it would be so fun. Th like. No joke, some of the levels here, chat fantasy draft. So, oh yeah, heads up, or not heads up, but um, update on chat plays uh, franchise and stuff like that. I've been trying to work on, like trying to get that Python program to work. I don't know if it's because I'm on the same computer and it's not connecting to it, but I've been doing it. Uh, yeah, I saw they added a shitload of new assets to create a program. Yeah, chat franchise, that's what I was talking about. Um, but that's coming. It's something I want to work on where uh, uh, the program gets working. For some reason, it wasn't uh, like I can boot it. I won't boot it up. Hold on. Oh, I have it. Damn it. You need so I downloaded the script for it, and uh, I guess I need to connect a, each word to how the game is played and stuff like that. So in the future, we might do it with this game because it would be really fun. Because the controls for being in battle are literally W A S and D, and then click and fire. But oh, we need oh, hold on. Okay, this is a. You might think. Still, no, sorry. Oh, I think what we want to do and you would do it. Was that what you guys were thinking as well? I was thinking we could also get you guys to try and play it too, but we can do it that way as well. I th was trying to have you guys like uh, have some sort of commands, but I could do it that way, have it a little bit more manual. That could be fun. And they really help. <laughs> Don't watch my franchise video coming out where we lose. <laughs> I know who's in good. If I had Photoshop and experience, I would make an Incog series. Oh, see, I love that. I've done that before, and it's so fun. I made that for one of my closers, and it was a lot of fun. Techno gym. <laughs> All right, so hold on. We need to look up some pictures of uh, yachts. Yachts for Vin Diesel. Yachts Vin Diesel would like. Oh, it's all going to be that photo of Vin Diesel fat on the yacht. That's the problem. That's going to be the issue with going to Google. <laughs> Commands would be really chaotic. True. True. But it would also be very funny. <laughs> His name is Jacob. Like Trout and Show for Sam Haggerty. Just moving it. <laughs> okay, I'll, so I'll show you this. So, uh, height. Well, uh, uh, let me show you this first. This is what I, okay, actually, the, where is it? JP Crawdaddy. So, this is what battle, first I need to change the armor a little bit.
So make the shab vent diesel flow. That, that could be the name. So this is what the battle, this is the testing grounds. So this is this is the one I was making last night, the JPP Crawdaddy, make the flag little dumpers. Oh, I have that on my flag on my desktop, so I can put it in. I hope the commands are like it reads chat and TTS reads my nonsense. So um, as you can see, <laughs> the boat is sinking. <laughs> This was not the intention. <laughs> when I first made this last night and I spawned in, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be a command in chat is trade for big dumper. Wait, uh, let's see if this works. I was trying to do this with, uh, with, fuck. I was trying to do that with Nightbot. So, yeah, let that sink in. This game is called Naval Art. N-A-V-A-L-A-R-T. So, w I was trying to set up a Nightbot command. So, if you do exclamation park, a, exclamation park, exclamation mark, ADHD Davis, it will tell you how long we've been on like on task. I was trying to set that up. So that's going to be one of my things for another chat or for another stream. But, um, <laughs> so this is what happens if you make your ship too heavy. It sinks. <laughs> oh wait, you need to uh, engage. But we can still move. <laughs> Da -na 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 -na, da -na -na -na. Yeah, it's Rise of the Valkyries. <laughs> Where I have ADHD too. <laughs> we're we're in that uh in that part of the front. <laughs> and he's like dive, dive, dive. Yeah, so that's what happens if you make your ship too heavy. You can get sunk to the bottom of the ocean. All right. Confirm. All right, let's do it. So what do we want to name it? I have YouTube and Steam, and those are my only allowed a connection to the outside world. Not even places I pooped? <laughs> the family boat? Have Monty name it? So I was setting some, <laughs> I did set up a, I did see the Michael Lorenzen no hitter. That was really, really cool. Um, I was at my parents' house the day my par the power went out. My parents, my family were all from Philadelphia. My parents, they were Phillies fans uh, before we came to Minnesota. So it was really cool to see that, Monty. So uh, I was setting this up beforehand. Let me pull up the... Uh, text to speech. We can either do Monty or I have someone else we can talk to. I was getting this uh, ready to go. Where's Chat TVC? If you want to talk to him, we can talk to him. Hold on. Context. There we go. And then I think I just need to get 
I just need to get the voice. Abs. Cubs. <laughs> EDI documentation. Oh my god, I forget what this is. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting I'm getting it. Don't worry. Usage analytic. Profile. Okay, there we go. Get voices. Yeah. Try that. No, fuck. What? <laughs> no, I, I want to... Copy. I'm a good streamer, guys, I promise. We're going to do game... Why is it not doing that? Execute. There we go. Okay. Okay. I promise, guys. We're going to get to gameplay in like 20, 25 minutes, I promise. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's going to be like two seconds. Okay. Let's see if this fucking works. Here we go. Okay. And the, oh, I did. So uh, it won't show up. It, the like do, 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 won't show up on this side. However, I did make something. I did make a location for where our talking friend will show up for us before stream. Here's, Here's our, our friend. friend. <laughs> We're in the captain's quarters now. Oh. I <laughs> So I made, I've done a lot of dumb shit in the past week, but this is, this won't fit with what we'll, we're doing, but it is the button on my keyboard. Cat GPT has been activated. Meow. Hi there. What are some boats that we should base our yacht off of? Oh wait, I don't have the microphone on. Shit. What are some famous boats we should base our yacht off of? It caught so few. Well, me hearties, you have me full attention. Let's sail these treacherous waters together, shall we? Long may the wind fill your sails, and may ye never find yourself on the wrong side of a mutinous crew. Savvy? Okay. <laughs> thanks for, thanks, Jack. Uh, thanks captain what is a famous boat we should look for for inspiration this is a banger one famous boat that you could look for inspiration is the RMS Titanic. Oh, no. Despite its tragic fate, the Titanic was a marvel of engineering and design during its time. It was a luxurious and grand ocean liner that captivated the world's attention. Its design, grandeur, and the ambitious engineering solutions made it an iconic ship. However, it is essential to recognize the importance of safety considerations and learn from the lessons of history while seeking inspiration from such famous vessels. Yeah, no, I see it. So, guys, we need to base our fucking ship off the fucking Titanic. <laughs> great. Great, great, great. Uh, there was a little bit of an echo, but that's because I had two uh, instances of a audio source. Up. But let me ask him one last question. One last thing, Captain. Could you write me a quick poem about your favorite baseball player? Maybe Cal Raleigh? Oh, God. 
Why is it so long? Why is it so long? Make the Poseidon, dude. Why is it so long? In a ballpark's realm, where legends abide, a hero emerged, Cal Raleigh's stride. With mighty swing and tenacious grace, he conquered the diamond, leaving a trace. A catcher, strong and nimble in his role, Cal Raleigh's prowess took a heavy toll. With gentle hands, he caught every pitch, guiding his team, stitching a perfect switch. His eyes like beacons gleaming with pure fire, he led his teammates, never to tire. Stalwart behind the plate, calm and composed, blocking and framing, his art never posed. But it's with the bat where Rally would shine, crushing baseballs, each a glorious sign. He swung with power, his will unfurled, sending them soaring to the farthest world. His home runs sailed like meteors in flight, bringing joy Cal. to fans <laughs> in the darkest night. Their roars reached high, echoing through the skies, as Cal Rally's dreams began to crystallize. Yet amidst the cheers, he, he stayed going, ever he humble, going. a player who made his opponents stumble. With spirit unwavering, passion untamed, Cal Raleigh's love for the game forever proclaimed. So here's to you, Cal, a legend of the game. <laughs> another verse, guys, another whose verse. spirit will forever remain. In the annals of baseball, your name shall stand, a symbol of greatness etched in diamonds grand. I asked him in the prompt first to limit himself to three paragraphs, and that one was like nine stanzas. God damn it. Yeah, great job, fucking AI Sparrow. All right, so... Um, <laughs> As his dreams, be yeah. Hold on, yeah. I, let me read that. Uh, so here's to you, Cal, a legend of the game, a player whose spirit will forever remain in the annals of baseball. Your name shall stand, a symbol of greatness etched in diamonds, in di etched in diamond, diamonds grand. What? Yet amidst the cheers, he stayed ever humble, a player who made his opponents stumble. With spirit unwavering, passion untamed, Cal's Raleigh love for the game forever proclaimed. What? Their roars reached high, echoing through the skies as Cal Raleigh's dreams began to crystallize. This sounds good, but it's really not. It's really not that good. <laughs> it sounds better than it is. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> do we... Hold on, do we just go to the workshop and see if someone made the Titanic? Or do we try and build our own Titanic? <laughs> Titanic. Ah, shit. It's not showing it. Have you seen the Poseidon Adventures? Oh, there are Pos uh, Titanics. What's the most subscribed one? Have you seen the Poseidon Adventures? Uh, I haven't seen that. I have seen Poseidon, which is that kind of cheesy disaster movie with a cruise ship. Workshop. Check workshop and build it. So there seems to be one on the workshop. What the fuck? Oh, th that's just the video. Uh, useless knowledge. It's fun facts. Nice job. Now, can I have a transport ship to be tested out? Okay, I'm going to subscribe to this one, see what it is. Or what most popular? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's. Subscribed. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Load. Where is it? Damn it. What? Where is it? Oh, there was. Oh, it's the most subscribed one in the like past month. That was one of the first things I saw on the fucking Steam. It's the Steam Workshop is Anime Girls, fucking uh, Kriegsmarine. World War II era uh, warships and the fucking Titanic submarine. 
Those are the three things uh, on this fucking games workshop. It's so funny. So that's why we need to flood it with like our bullshit. Please open up. I would love to see what. Why can I not see more shot? No. How do I load up this? There is a yeah. So that's what we're going to be fighting. Upload update. No. Subscribe. Oh, this is just saying what I'm subscribed to. Playing Terraria. Oh, okay. Wait. Load. Design like presets army. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. There we go. Saves. No, no, no. Do not look at the workshop. It is horrifying. Who is building anime girls? Dude, there's such a weird like dichotomy of like people who are really, really, really into like the War Thunder, World of Warships, World of Tanks, uh genre of games and who are hardcore weebs it is very interesting <laughs> where is my titanic do i need to go to the main page or maybe i need to go back to menu i don't play terraria so thank god i play fucking uh noita because that shit's lit and because it has wizards <laughs> Auto save. Nice. No. Where is Titanic? Presets. No. Backups. As you can see, guys, this is a very well uh, organized game. Save designs. Load ships. Liberty ship. Is it? Hold on. Maybe I go to menu. Okay. Hold on. We're cooking. We're going to cook. Hold on. We claimed her off when first yesterday. She was a player to be named later. What the fuck? Okay. Settings. No. Oh, there we go. Someone spent way too much time on this. I'm just saying out loud. Okay, so we have the Titanic, which was said to be no problems. What Jack Sparrow said, this is going to be no problems. However, if we take this, one, I think this needs a new paint job. We, we can rename this because this is going to be Vin Diesel's, uh, Vin Diesel's yacht. So it's going to be something different than Titanic. I did see the family ship earlier, which was good. I like that. But, um, what is this? Adjustable hull? Adjustable hull? What, is there, is there no power? Buoyancy, horsepower. Okay. It needs a pool. Let's see if I can add a pool. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can add a pool. Like here? Vintanic? Ooh, that's a good name. That's a good name right there, the Vintanic. Well, okay, hold on. Hold on. Before we add a pool, let me show you what I'm talking about when I say we have to t face the... Um... Okay, well, one... Hold on. Save design. RMS. So, Vintanic's really good, so... Vintanic. HMS is R RMS is fucking stupid. Uh, JPP or what? Uh, JCC JCU or PhD? <laughs> PhD Vintanic. the JPP. No, wait. What the fuck? No. J. Bobby Witt. I almost made Bobby Witt a bannable word in my in my uh, chat. By the way. 
Now we got to paint. Yeah, baby. Oh, wait. What what are the uh uh Oh, they should be the uh athletics colors. Athletics colors. Cuz the home run hit off Johan. Yeah, it's totally that, not because the guy who uh took my series and made it really big just kept making Davy Witt joke. Totally not that. Um lower side, green. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that looks nice. Is this how a real ship is built? God, no wonder my ship sucks, asshole. What up, Eichen? How do I get that last piece? Whatever. Okay. This is the JPP Vintanic. That's probably going to get axed for a gun, but let me show you. So we're going to go back to the menu. I'm going to show you just how quickly the fucking, how quickly Chicago or Cleveland, I'm sorry, is going to whoop our ass. Just watch. All right. Now I can label this stream destroying Cleveland as the Titanic. So we are 18 kilometers away from Cleveland and it's already destroying me. So you get like a little periscope and you can see it is just <laughs> hitting me from side to side. Non-penetration. 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 Feels vaguely sexy. Vaguely, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Guys, Cleveland is destroying the Titanic. Oh, man, dude. We are just fucking moving ass. Look at this shit. What's the horn button, by the way? H is the horn button. Uh-oh. They're, they're taking me out. They're hitting me hard. Uh-oh. I'm going as fast as I can, and it's only 17 knots. This, yeah, this is actually what happened. Don't believe the lies. Cleveland destroyed the Titanic. <laughs> I think with the Switch, at least, you do need a secondary uh, streaming way. Cleveland attacked it. Yeah, Cleveland blindsided the Titanic at night. Real talk, for the longest time, uh, my, like, you're being traded to San Diego. Not the worst place to get traded to. I had a joke for a while. Uh, the reason why the Spanish never took over the world, or the rest of America at least, is because they got to San Diego and they're like, this place is perfect. There's no reason to leave. It's 70 all year round. We're on the beach. Why the fuck would we go up? But I was going to say, my, like, on Hinge, one of the dating uh, apps, for the longest time, my, uh, one of my prompts was the iceberg was framed as a, like, joke. And with the rise of people actually thinking the Titanic was a fake 
for our conspiracy. I feel like I need to clarify that I don't actually believe the Titanic was a conspiracy. I just think it was a fucking idiot's nonsense. Trade someone to the Shanghai Sharks. Now we're now we're cooking. We're gonna ram them. Oh, they dropped out. Damn it. Not Detroit. Imagine you're Cleveland. Wait, I'm facing me? <laughs> Paul is Paul is the person in charge of Cleveland. Yo, yo, yo. We're debunking Titanic conspiracy theories by showing what actually happened. Cleveland, the city, destroyed the Titanic. You, you've missed maybe an hour of street, not even an hour, 45 minutes, and you've missed so much, KPJ. <laughs> Phil versus Paul, the ultimate. Uh, ultimate face. I was going back and forth for the talking head. Uh, it was either going to be Jack Sparrow or it was going to be a famous admiral named who Horatio. The famous Horatio is Horatio Nelson. Uh, it was going back and forth between him or fucking Jack Sparrow. Oh, we're getting close. But that means they can shoot me way faster. So this is what it looks like when you have zero guns on your ship. And you try and hunt Chicago, or Cleveland. I keep wanting to say Chicago. It will destroy you. Oh, that was a good hit. Did you see that hit that just took the side out? Oh, man. No iceberg there. This is a war crime. This is just a war crime. This is a, uh, a warship shooting on a civilian carrier. Full speed. I wanna hit it. I'm trying to hit it. Oh, why does it look like my ship is bending? Why does it look like my ship is bending? Hear those gunshots and it's like, oh wow. Oh. Come on, Vintanic. Running, winning right now if you had a pool. <laughs> that is true. God, guys, look at this beautiful sight. Is it F1? F4? Let's be free room. Ah, uh, what a beautiful sight. The voyage of the Titanic. The height of luxury. The height of human class. God damn it. Okay. How many people have died on this ship? Oh, that was a good strike. Oh, man. 
Okay, so we need speed, we need guns, and we need a pool. Those are our three objectives. Guns, speed, and pool. All of them, everyone who's on board. How there was like a lot of people that survived the actual Titanic. Uh, this one, no one, no one survived. God. Don't ask why I know. I mean, it's been in the news so much recently. We are all subjected to it. I just want to see this bitch sink. I'm so invested in it. So F4 did this. Oh, oh, uh, do you guys, who here is afraid of, uh, uh, the sea? Is this, oh, damn it, I, it's only in, uh, in gallery that does it. But, uh, for some reason, the developers of this game decided that the escape button should just be a free fall into the ocean, and it is frightening. I'm like, not that afraid of the ocean, but I'm kind of afraid of the ocean, and it was fucking scary. Is there lights? I'm pressing like all the buttons. Jeez. Oh, that's what it is. F3 removes uh, your HUD. I'm afraid of the letter C. U username passes. Do it. I want to see. All right. Af after we ch after we die here, I'll drop to the bottom of the ocean. See, now it really is like the actual sinking of the Titanic. It happened at night. Come on, Cleveland. Fucking destroy me. Sitting duck. Destroy me. Boom, 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 boom. We're at, what, 24? 21? Come on. Come on. Just destroy me. 20. 19. Do I need to blacklist the letter C? Just make this incredibly difficult for us. Your Clorox, your head out. I'll see you later, dude. Have a good Friday night. Hopefully, we will survive and be Cleveland. <sighs> You're just flaring up. Hopefully we'll have a good ship by then. The Vintanic 2. 8. I know, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. That just means we have a good base. Cleveland is a pathetic city. Oh, come on. Normally my ships go down in like 10 minutes. Not even 10, like a minute. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we are. Womp, 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 womp. Add Inspire Bot. Fuzzy will be in shambles. <laughs> Destroyed. Found oh, da, 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 da. oh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Shit. Mission failed. Uh. Uh, menu. Okay, this is that. <laughs> this is that uh, gallery I was talking about. Okay, watch this. So g get ready for absolute fear. So we're like above the ocean. This is supposed to be a uh, way you can take photos and screenshots of your boat. But if you press escape, this is what happens. Holy fuck. <laughs> And you just keep falling and falling and falling and you can look up and it's the most frightening thing I've ever fucking seen in a game. This is scarier than all of Dead, like, <laughs> Dead Space. Just that motion. Uh, it was so scary. <laughs> it's fucking frightening. Just looking up. Ah. No, thank you. All right, now let's go fucking arm that motherfucking Titanic. Three-run bomb after a ball that nearly hit his head. Fuck yeah, John Singleton. POV. That's purgatory. Yeah, that's fucking hell. That is the scariest thing that's ever been seen. Every time I stream, something weird happens in baseball, I swear. What is this? Adjustable hull? Okay, well, shit. Who is John Singleton? Isn't that that guy who... Bound no, I'm confusing him with someone else who bounced around the minor leagues for a long-ass time. All right, well, this thing is not needed. Oh, it was. Son of a bitch. Hmm. <laughs> we need speed and guns and a pool. Now for guns, there's a lot of filters you can go with, but it was the Irish who made the Titanic. So we can go Britain and America. Yeah, we can go Britain and America. Sweet. What are you doing? Get the fuck out. All right. This is where it gets fun. Because pool, add the pool, get the pool. Okay. We're adding the pool. Reset, apply. Uh, is it settings? Snap, no. Build tool, there we go. Lane, there we go. I'm posting videos again? Hell yeah, dude. I need to do that as well. <laughs> oh, and then we can make this bigger. There we go. <laughs> Boom. And then paint. Boom. Family dog shop. I think we can add signs. Yeah, so that's the pool. I know it's a very crew. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Now we have a pool. Now that's a motherfucking pool. See? 
And this is how we're going to defend the pool. With a pair of <laughs> uh, b motherfucking... Oh, no, just one. Just one anti-air gun. Or can we do two? We can do two. Nice. We can do two. We need a cool flag. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting a flag on this motherfucker. Later. Can we do two? Yeah, we can. Does it conflict with the pool? Why is this not zero? And then mirror. Boom. To defend the pool effectively, we need to focus on implementing a multi-layered security approach. Here's a plan. One, physical barriers. What the fuck? Install a sturdy fence around the pool area with a lockable gate to restrict access. This will prevent unauthorized entry and act as a primary deterrent. Two, surveillance system. It just started set up a going on for me. <laughs> Ensure that the cameras are weatherproof and have night vision capabilities. Three, motion sensors. Install motion sensors around the perimeter of the pool area. I accidentally These sensors will detect zero, any unusual activity and trigger me, alarms, alerting security pool, personnel or relevant authorities immediately. On how to defend Four, the pool. access control. Implement a robust access control system that includes key cards or numeric codes to restrict entry to authorized individuals only. This can be accompanied by regular audits of authorized access credentials to prevent misuse. Five, lifeguards or pool attendants. <laughs> Employ trained lifeguards oh God, or pool attendants so who are responsible for monitoring the pool area and ensuring the safety of swimmers. They should be trained in first aid and rescue procedures. Six, yeah, pool I rules said, and signage. This is how we're going to defend Clearly the pool. display pool rules and safety guidelines around the pool area. Guns, and he's giving this me will remind visitors of the expected behavior and alert them to potential hazards. <laughs> Seven, regular maintenance. Regularly inspect and maintain the, the pool to ensure dude. it is in good working condition. This includes checking for any damage, repairing broken equipment, and keeping the pool clean. 8. Emergency Response Plan Develop and communicate an emergency response plan to all staff members. This plan should outline the procedures to follow in case of accidents, injuries, or any other emergencies. 9. Regular Training Conduct regular Asking training sessions for all staff members on pool on safety protocols, emergency message. response procedures, and best practices for maintaining a secure pool environment. 10. Community engagement. Encourage community involvement by organizing pool safety events, educational programs, or workshops. This will create awareness and encourage responsible use of the pool among community members. Remember, maintaining a secure pool environment requires constant vigilance and adaptability. Stay updated on the latest safety practices and regularly review and enhance the pool's security measures based on any emerging threats or incidents. What are the toppings that are found on a family dog? Ah, the British may have their designs, but fear not, my friend. A life of adventure awaits, with salty air and treacherous seas. Find me where the compass points, and I shall guide you to buried treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Savvy? That's not what the answer to the question was. Alrighty then. Alright. Back to designing. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> we need more guns. We need big guns. Big, big, big guns. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Oh, the front of it needs a big, big, big gun. I think there's like a six, six, like, barrel gun. That's what the front needs. Quadruple. It's like an American gun that has six barrels. Where is it? Oh, damn it. Uh, there's 
Why? That, okay, that was me not turning off the program and not knowing it was running. That was not me, even though it was me. I thought it was hilarious, though. I thought that was so funny. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at this motherfucker. Dog, imagine if this was the actual fucking... Uh, if this was the real... Titanic. Alrighty then. I'll see you later, dude. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Don't worry, we're good. Oh, we got Dort here. What up, Dort? Dort loves the Titanic and naval warfare. He tells me all the time, the two biggest things I love in history are naval warfare and the Titanic. And combining those two together would be a dream come true. And the ability for me to combine those two is just sending him over the moon right now. Isn't that right, Dort? You were just telling me that like a day or two ago. You were like, I love naval warfare. Lies? No, you. that's not a lie. Not a lie at all. Me too. If we can get that number in the few thousands, that would be the m big move. I have a cracked version of YouTube, but I switch over to the regular one sometimes so I can support you. How do you have a cracked version of YouTube? There's a free, it's a free website. <laughs> There's no such thing as a cracked version. Gaslight Davis. It's not gaslighting. It's called ambition. Gosh. <laughs> uh, is this the one with AA? No. This is the one with AA. Hell yeah. He hacked the YouTube. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. Honestly, like, one, I didn't think I would do it. But two, it's low-key been a goal of mine to get to 3K. Uh, I had a set of goals back in November, like start of the year, that I was trying to accomplish. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, good. I thought I accidentally may do, maybe have activated the program. But uh, 3,000 subscribers was one of them. Uh, so getting there in August was, was a big thing to me. I'm, I'm very proud of that. And you guys have been very, very a big part of it. So thank you guys, too. Now let's just times that by 100,000. Is that 3 million? <laughs> I can't do math. Mirror. Boom. Uh, we need stuff up here. Instead of these stupid lifeboats that no one's going to use, why would, he, why would we have lifeboats on this ship? This ship is never going to sink. We need turrets. We need more turrets. Uh, not big enough. Is this the one? No. This is the one. Famous last words. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Well, for okay, so real talk, this is an actual thing. Uh, 
for the longest time, uh, lifeboats and like small boats on ships were not actually used as life-saving measures. They were put onto ships as decoration. It was a thing of this ship is so big, this ship is so grand, it can have little boats on it too. And the Titanic was one of those ships. Oh, no, hold on. That's way too close. Yeah, <laughs> famous last words. That would be funny. This ship is indestructible. Uh, right there is good. Yeah, right there is good. Vin is going to love this ship. You're back. They learned. Yeah, they learned very quickly. We missed you, Vichin. Oh, up here we can just have like a row of machine guns. <laughs> just <laughs> Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Single machine guns, dual machine guns, twin turrets. Where are they? Missile launchers. One man. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll bother Cal. He's probably watching one of his VTubers. I guess there's drama in the V2. There's drama in the ASMR world, apparently. He was telling me about drama in the ASMR world, which is quite comical to me. Me neither. Though learning to become good at waiting is a very good skill to have. Don't worry. It's not going to be this many here. I'm just doing this as a like. I believe in you. You got this. Oh, we could put guns like all down here. That would oh, that actually be really fucking funny. Have a real fucking pirate ship. Can we put these on the corners? I'm trying to stick with like one era of fucking gun because we could just do like modern guns and it would be really fucking easy. If I was a furry VTuber. Yeah, but that would require so much fucking prep at work and uh, commitment and I'm just not wait. I'm just not with that. Um... Where's the maneuverable? No. Oh shit, that's giant. You know that thumbnail? Yes, yes, I remember it. It is on lost hard drive still. Oh. Fuck. Keep forgetting that. Oh, I can put two big guns up there. Hold. Hold your horses, gentlemen. Ooh. Make it the flag on the ship. Ooh, that is a fun idea. Yeah, I like that. In? No. 
There we go. Oh, wait, let's move forward. There we go. But Little Dumpers. Little Dumpers was fun. We need to find a place to put the flag, too. It's older than Little Dumpers. He made a thumbnail for one of my streams. Oh, we can put one. We can put them here. Let's see. That's a giant thing. Don't think that's going to fit there. Quad turret, that's not going to fit there. Where are these boys? Pull up the thumbnail for dementia. Uh, okay, one second. Triple turret. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. That's what she said. Oh, put this in the back maybe? Ooh, this could be fun in the back. Yeah, I'll show it in one second. What what does F do? I wonder. Oh, that fits perfectly. Perfectly being a very, very rough word. gonna sink from all that weight i mean it was huge last time and took a lot of like brutal hits so i'm not too worried just a whole what's that no oh. titanic yes what up cal speak of the devil we were just talking about yeah uh engines there we go Reset. Apply. Is that what I fucking deleted? Oh my god. Is that what I fucking deleted? Oh my god. They are the giant things. We were just saying it would be fun to have you here. Because we like to have more people here. Um... This thing is gonna be so slow. It's gonna be so slow. Oh my god. Is there a way to make this like a propeller as well? We need extra defense for the pool. Oh yeah, well we have this area up here, so we need to put a big gun. Oh, hold on, there's missiles. Or this thing. We were just saying you might be at a VTuber stream. Literally, I was joking. I was like, he might be at a VTuber stream as well. Called it. There we go. Our pool is protected. Look at that. That is just covered by five guns. Trying to think. Gotta watch my Oshi oh, Sing anime openings. Okay, that does sound kind of lit. We can go. I, I can go sing some anime openings too, you know. It's not just her, it's me too. Gosh. No, he just likes his anime. Which he's. He's, his free, he's a freedom loving American. He's able to do that. It's a God fearing Christian. Boom. Okay, now the mast. 
decorations. Um, oh, flagpole. Oh, there's a flag. There's a specific flagpole. Sweet. Good to know. Nah, that's way too far up. No one will see us. The mast is way better than the flagpole, I'll be honest. Japanese mast, American mast. There we go. Miles Straw hit a home run. Oh my god, it's crazy. Single it did it again. Fucking what? Like I said, every time I do a stream, fucking weird things in baseball happen. Every time. And then, I think at the top flag. Flag. I mean, I, I am currently doing something. I will be honest. That's why I'm not uh, currently inv inviting you. I am in the middle of one little thing. Fighting for Vin Diesel's life. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. I need to do this. Like this. Okay. You change flag. You do this. You change the flag. You go JP inspo. And you go, why is it like looking like a penis is cut out from the fucking thing? There we go. Perfect. Oh, and then, wrong button. Where's those Vs? Uh, scale. Oh, wait, no, it's X. Or it's move. Every time I press the wrong button. John Singlet is the goat. Exactly. We all knew it. Motherfucker, every time. Then where's N? There we go. That was the last stream, or at least a stream ago. This is what's important. Boom! No. Boom. 
Finn. Oh wait, now it's like 90, 90, 90. Boom, 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 boom. No, fuck. Oh, and I wanted more power. Shit. I needed more fucking power. Shit. Uh, that's engine. paint. Oh, uh, tools. There's certain ones you can put as auto and manual. <laughs> so like, just regulate them. Auto, auto. 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 I think that should be good. The Vin. <laughs> the Vintanic. We could also defeat New Mexico. The Cardinals. Uh, what other cities are here? Iowa in general, or the Cleveland. Let's go to Cleveland. If we want to take on the Cardinals, we can do that as well. All right. Full steam ahead, motherfuckers. Shit. They're already fucking shooting at me. He already hit me. Reloading. Fire. Wait, what is that? Why is there a fire? Destroy the Cleveland Guardians. That's what I'm doing. They're fucking whooping my ass. We're, get, we're getting hits in. You just cut your lip open? Shit. Hardcore, dude.
This bitch is riding so low. We're just whooping its ass, I think, at this point. It's destroying us. Don't get me wrong, this is not a clean fight. I think I got like 24k on it. Why do I need so much time to reload? Uh oh, what's on fire? Something's on fire. Uh oh, one turret's destroyed. Turret down, turret down. Can we do the Immaculate Grid after this? We can try, yeah. I haven't done it today. I think. Oh, oh, Cleveland. We destroyed Cleveland. <laughs> we did it. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Let's go see what we destroyed. Oh yeah, look at it sink. Oh, this is so oh, this is a rush. Cuz he's in shambles. Over the immaculate grid or is he just a big Cleveland fan? Oh, dude, look at that. Look at that bow go down. It is like the Titanic. Oh, I wish we could face the Titanic. What is this? Look at it go. Look at the Titanic. Was he a big Cleveland fan? Ah, that's why. It's like the real Titanic. Why spend $250,000 and possibly your life when you could just do this? God, this is beautiful. <laughs> Should we just let it roll in the background and we do the Immaculate Grid? We can do that. There we go. Okay, 
if we're gonna do it like that. All right. Okay, sure. Hold on. I know what to do. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Braves Giants is Tommy Lastella. Lastella. Nice. Let's do it. Uh, I was trying to think for where. Quato? Oh, Quato is good, yeah. He could be in pretty much any of these. Um, trying to think. Problem is, oh, you don't see it anymore. I, I t took out the fucking, mm, hold on. There we go. Potato Quato. Yeah. Yeah, I realized that. Yeah, I, was, I realized that. Uh, I was going to say, the problem is with Arizona and the Marlins, you are limited in the players. So this is going to be everything 90s and up. Everything 90s and back. So it's going to be no old school players here. So it's going to be everyone who's recent. Um, <laughs> Texan. Do we need to talk to Max about, <laughs> did Moyer ever play for the Marlins or uh, for the Giants? Cubs, Giants, Kenny Lofton. Ooh, that's a good point. I was going to say Moyer there if he played for the Giants. If not, we can do Lofton. Lofton played everywhere. Uh, Reds. Oh, I could have put... I could have done this for the... Or, no. He did not. The one team he didn't play for. Marlins and these teams. I'm trying to think of fucking Marlins players. In general. <laughs> Gaylord Perry. Did he play somewhere? Or did not play in San Francisco? Gaylord. Mm, I'm trying to think of random players who've been on uh, the Marlins early in the day. Oh. Wait, do they consider... Uh, do they consider Hoffman being drafted by the Reds? Edgar Renteria? Bottom right. Renteria. Nice. Marlins Cubs. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, he, because he got, just got traded, right? <laughs> Johnny Cueto. For who, though? Because I know he's played all over. Uh, oh, I was going to do so there. Solarte. Oh, so he's still there. 15%. Quito. No, only playing time in baseball they consider. Damn it. Can't go with people they drafted. That would be perfect. Um, Maybe Joey Bats for no one. That's a good one. I'm trying to think if... I'm trying to think if Otis Nixon played for the Marlins. I'm looking up Otis Nixon. I'm looking up Otis Nixon. Ozuna. Yeah, but Otis Nixon did a shitload of cocaine. Did he play for the Marlins? Atlanta, Cleveland, Montreal. Minnesota, Boston, Texas, Los Angeles, New York. Damn it! I thought we could get Otis Nixon on. On the on the game here, he's a good choice there. Dansby, oh Dansby, we could do Dansby. Dansby Swanson. What? What 
What are you telling me? Did you mean... No. Dansby. Well, I just put in Dansby. No, he didn't. He played for the Braves and the Cubs, it looks like. Did he get drafted? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Because it didn't take it for me. And I have four guesses left. Andre Dawson could have been middle right. Damn. So many random people ended up like on the Marlins in weird states. Or like in the those early years. Hold on. Let's just go like... What, what were the Marlins' first years? Let's look at the Marlins. Oh, it's all good. That's what is fun about this team. Or about this game. Even if you lose, sometimes it's fun. Franchise page. Let's go the first year. Let's look at this first roster. I'm not going to take anyone here necessarily, but it'll, it's just funny to see this. This is the 93. Oh, sorry. Sorry. This is the 93 Marlins. And then we have the Titanic break lows. What is the stream? Dutta for ATL MNH. Gary Sheffield top right. Oh, God. Sheffield would be good. Yeah. Good point for Chef. Let me check out Chef. Florida, Milwaukee, Atlanta. Yeah, Chef. Or did he play in Arizona? Yeah, top right. Top right. Duh. Gary Sheffield. Nice. Boom. Lucas Dutta. <laughs> Not the fucking uh, coke running uh, kingpin of Jamaica. Terry McGriff. <laughs> Not Fred. Damn. Rob Ned, Trevor Hoff. Look at that. Look at this fucking... <laughs> God damn. Look at that bullpen. Is this the Chris Carpenter? Okay, I was going to say, I thought that there was another Chris Carpenter, but yeah. Trevor Hoffman and Rob Nen in the same fucking bullpen. That's wild. Ike Davis, the most random 30. Luis Gonzalez. Ooh, we could look up Lugo. Wait, Pat Rapp? Bruh. What? Oh my god. Do you guys see this man's name? John Johnstone? Where did he play? Florida, Oakland, Houston, San Francisco. Oh, could I have used him? No, I could have. Damn it. Still, John Johnstone is a real person. His parents. <laughs> like, our, par our, ch our child is John Johnstone. Let me look up Lugo. I was going to say that's first. I, well, okay, I'll be honest. First, I was going to make fun of this guy named Jack Armstrong because he's a pitcher and his name is Armstrong. And that's a very fitting name for someone named Armstrong. But then I saw fucking John Johnstone. Fucking oh, Richie Lewis. Richard Lewis. Nice. Yeah, let's look up Lugo. D-backs, Trigers, Cubs. Oh. Dex Cubs. Shit, which one? Do you have three to choose from? One, two, or three. Put it in chat. One, two, or three. Luis Gonzalez from nineteen ninety to two thousand and eight. Luis Gonzalez from twenty twenty two to twenty or twenty twenty to twenty twenty two. Or Luis Gonzalez from two thousand four and two thousand and six. Which one should I choose? One, two, or three? Put it in the chat right now. Steve Finley. I know, yeah, he was on Giants and a few others. You can do Luis. I can make this smaller so we can see the boat. One. Oh, good. We went with the right one, guys. Oops. 
Steve Finley. So we got Baltimore's Edwin Jackson. See, Edwin Jackson's because he's everywhere. So we have Anaheim, Dodgers, Giants, Colorado, Baltimore, Houston, San Fran or San Diego, and Arizona. What do we need? Oh, we need Cincinnati and Atlanta for Arizona, and then San Francisco and Cincinnati. Oh, there was. Atlanta and Arizona, Atlanta and Cincinnati. Do we need any more for Marlins? No, we don't need any more for the Marlins. Fuck it. Fuck them. Let's go to the Diamondbacks first season. See what they're like. Is their first season seriously 98? Damn. Omar Dahl. Thanks. Why does he look so old? He looks like he's like in his mid 50s. Why does this guy look like he's from the 50s? <laughs> so many of these guys. Ben Ford. Edwin Jackson. Well, let's look up Edwin Jackson. Deadwin Jackson. No, Edwin. Hold on. Let's see this. Hold on. Google Trends. Uh, no, that's past day. Uh, that's full <laughs> When did it start coming out? When did Immaculate Grid start coming out? This is like, it's been going for three months and he's blown up in the past three months, Edwin Jackson. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> he's just shot up <laughs> in the, on Google Trends. He's going right down. I bet this is because of uh, Rich Hill. But it, that's still so funny. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. We got one. Do we have Atlanta or Cincinnati? Atlanta. Edwin Jackson will do. Edwin, you're being called up to the team. He didn't even spend all that ta much time in Chicago. Wait, all right, can you send me the invite? Uh, where is it? <laughs> all I see is someone sending me, let's open up this can of whoop ass and I assume the twins got destroyed. Holy shit, he's from fucking Germany, from New Ulm? That's what's up. All right, Giants and Cincinnati, Edwin Jackson. It's him and Latroy. Latroy is my go-to guy. Look at this. Minnesota, Colorado, Cubs, Houston, Milwaukee, Mets, Giants, LA, New York, Baltimore, Toronto. He has so many of them. It's so nice. Any of them that help us? No, no Cincy. I'm trying to think who's been fucking traded from Cincy. There. You just hit a perfect, perfect foul ball. I want to die. Those are the fun best. Best is when you're like down one to two or you're it's tied and you hit a perfect, perfect and it ducks foul and it gets you that walking animation and then your character's like, uh, uh and you're like, fucking shoot myself in the head. Um, oh, I only have one guest left too because I fucked up. Uh, so we're going for the fun time. Uh, we're, ch we're cheap in it. Uh, Cincy and fucking San Francisco. Jenny Cueto, that would be fun. I'll be honest, but we can do this. 
This is how you get your your maddest sicko score. Oh, Pedro Bourbon. I was just I was just reading about that guy last night. This is how you guys get uh, your littest sicko scores. You just use this. Pat Crawford. Oh, Johnny Cueto. Yeah, I see that. Eric Davis. Don Dreisen. Seeing if I know anyone or if anyone has been featured on an episode of Crime and Sports. That's what I go for. Bert Haas. Buck Herzog. Oh, guys, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Should we do Michael Jackson? I think it would be hilarious to drop Michael Jackson. Uh, George Kelly. Silver King. That's cool. Brent Lucas, Christy Matheson, Eddie Miller, Tip O'Neill, Mark Portugal. I would never cheat. That's why I do it for you. Donovan Solano, Hunter Strickland. We're not competing with anyone anyway. We're doing Michael Jackson. You learn about baseball history. That's not cheating. Michael Jackson. Silver King. We got Michael Jackson. <laughs> so. I want to know who Silver King is. Astros legend Mark Portugal. I do want to have a collection of all the players who have been named after different parts of like Europe and stuff. Because there's Spain, there's uh, Portugal, there's Germany, uh, what, there's France, there's England, uh, what is it there, is there Italy? No. Spain, oh yeah, Austin, Spain, Bobby Spain. Other minor leaguers, but still. The country team build? Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> it's like, oh, these guys representing the country. No, they're just guys with their names in it. Because what? There's. German Marquez. <laughs> JP France. Yep, JP France. Uh, is in there Poland? Hugh Poland. <laughs> guys. Let's get Hugh Poland in MLB The Show 2024. How about that? Let's pull for it. His his legal name is Hugh Reed Poland. <laughs> so, should it, should we just make that? Should we just make a chart of all of the players with uh country last names? <laughs> should we just make a fucking Jay Kuda chart here? Poland is everywhere. Exactly. Is there a guy with Norway in his last name? Do we think? Norwood. We can check Norway. No. Uh, Greece. Nothing for Greece. Uh, Sweden. Swede. Sweden. We could go Swede. Sweden. Swede Larsen is offensively Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> we could just have the game going in the background still. <laughs> Let me get a fucking uh, map of Europe. Uh, map of Europe. With disputed regions. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Does Frank, Belgium, Brazil count? Yeah, should we count them? They can put, ex they can be uh, like auxiliary ones. Yeah, I was thinking like India could count. Um, I pull up Photoshop or do I want to pull up Paint? Maybe it was a little bit easier to deal with last time. Will this fucking work? It won't ever fucking work. I don't understand. I just don't understand. <laughs> Get 
too. Trying to think. Window. Photoshop. Why? Won't you work? Damn it. Why? Turkey. Stearns? Oh, I get it. I was trying to think, wait, what? But then I realized it's the first name. I get it. I get it. It's tricky. Sorry, I'm trying to get Photoshop to fucking show up so you can see what I'm doing. But it's being a little pain in my ass. So now you just have a fucking thing going on the other side, which is so funny. Display. Oh my Christ. Please fucking just show itself. Oh my God. Chili Gomez. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, okay. Wee, I can rap. Wee, wee, I can rap. Been recently? No. Okay. There we go. Window capture. No. There we go. There we go. Tim Ireland. See? Yeah, that's another one. That's a good one. Okay. People are going to be like, what the fuck are we doing? And I'm like, welcome to my stream. Why am I not growing? God damn it. Should I just retitle it? We def defeated Cleveland, now making graphic. I can do that. Six. Stats. Damn it, that's not it. Stats. Whatever. All right. There's someone just named Span. I think there was a player named Spain, so I think we are good there. Window capture. Okay. Oh, I need that online. Zach Britton. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Does it show up twice? It shows up twice. Very nice. Okay. Um, we want Mark Portugal. <laughs> We're just going to go left to right. <laughs> yeah, let's just use that. Fuck it. That's just beautiful. David Luxemburg, is that a real person? If that's a real person, he's 1,000% going in the fucking, in the map. Shit. Oh, is it RGBT? Oh my god. No. Uh. Fucking shit. No. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. March. Oh, I, I just deleted fucking, uh, <laughs> Mark Portugal. Uh, who do, who else do we need? Spain. Oh, you son of a bitch. Orange spa. I think we need Spain. Spain. Hey guys, I'm back. You missed a lot. Uh, we defeated, uh, Cleveland. So now we're making a map of everyone, at least in Europe, that has a baseball name, that has a country in their name. <laughs> Dylan Spain? Did he actually play? Hank Spain. 
Austin's Bane. Don's Bane. Hold on. What the fuck? Don Spain. That's not who I wanted, but I'm very much intrigued. <laughs> Bobby Spain is lit. Bobby Spain. Bobby Spain, instructional coach. That's perfect. That's perfect. Should we do JP France or Thai France? JP or, Fra or Thai? Or JP like this <laughs> JP well I know you would say both we could like do it right down the face JP looks funnier Ty Let's see we need Ty Hold on, I have an idea. Uh, oh my god. Hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. No, I don't want a feather. There we go. What? Oh, it doesn't show you? Fuck. There we go. How does this look? <laughs> you guys like that? It's just pain. It's just straight pain. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, England. There's probably some guy named England. English. Oh, Charles England. Boom. Charles England. Charles England. That's not him. Baseball. Charles England was an American Negro pitcher. Zach Britton. Do we decide on Zach Britton? But this guy's name is Chuck England. Or Charles England. JP is way... Zach Britton. Okay, Zach Britton. But it's not spelled the same. That's the thing. Is there a guy that's like Britton? Do that. Damn it. All right, Zach Britton it is. Hunter Greenland. That would be funny. Zach Britton. Wow, that's a sad looking photo. <laughs> England? Yeah, that's the thing. I was saying England. Or English, at least. You have the, these guys like Dave, Eng Jesse English, Woody English. Charles? Charlie English, Charles England. It's like his Pokemon evolution. Oh, what is this guy? Jesse English. Appeared in seven games in 2011. Perfect. Turkey Stearns. Oh, yeah, we have to get Turkey Stearns. <laughs> What's this card? What is this? Jesse English. Oh, this is perfect. 
This is perfect. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Google. Okay, let me get Turkey Stearns. That one's a good one. Turkey Stearns. Everyone else has like last names and he's the first name. Why does he look so scary? Like his face right there. Oh my God. Oh, this is a good photo. I like this one. This is a good photo. Domingo German. Yeah, I was thinking that for Germany. I'm just getting all the photos to put them on. Uh, I'm just like getting all... Oh, shit. I don't even have the fucking window capture up. Shit. I'm just getting all the photos right now to put them up on the uh, thing right now. Up on the image. Pull this up. I think German. I don't know. Domingo, or German. Marquez. check wait what is this why does he look so scared why does he look so red I don't know if you are noticing something but I'm currently streaming so I cannot actually do that put Germont and Domingo oh that could be a oh that would be a good that could be a good another one because it would be like both the first and the last name ones uh, we can close a few of these tabs uh let's check for a check guy Chet Lemon oh hold on check Charlie check No, you're fine. You're fine. So let's see. Z? Because there are guys from the Czech Republic. Oh, f holy shit. What? No fucking way. Do we use this? Do we use this one? Andrew check. Yeah, how? Oh, this is a good one. Signed. There we go. There are so many weird last names out there. I swear to God, dude. You think you know, like, more of them? Nope. You do not know any of them. Oh, we need Scott. Or, I, I, you said Ireland? Dude named Ireland? Tim Ireland. <laughs> Roy, Royal's future star. Uh, Cellini. Oh, that could be a good one. Oh, I like this. Tim Ireland hitting coach Phoenix Firebirds. There we fucking go. Um, is there a guy named Iceland? There's no one named Iceland. Damn it. Uh, okay, so we have Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, somehow the Czech Republic, England, Ireland, Turkey. Uh, what other country? Oh, Denmark. Or Danish. Wait, what? How did I tap, type in Denmark and this guy came up? What the fuck? Guys, wait. Do you see this? Do you see this? His full name, his middle name is Denmark. What the fuck? <laughs> his middle name is Denmark. God damn it. Does this count? Does his middle name count as count as it? 
His middle name is Denmark. Does this count? I think that's actually kind of funny. Thomas Burnett. Baseball? If we see a fucking photo of this guy, I'm going to blow my fucking head off. J.P. Crawford is injured? God damn it. Dude, there's no way this guy has... He was a minor leaguer in the 40s. There's no way we have any photos of this guy. Baseball, 1940s. M. Gerard Thomas Bart. There's no way. There's no way there's a bit. There's photos of this guy. There's no way. Stay in baseball. I just fell to my knees in a Walmart. <laughs> ah! I just fell to my knees in a Olive Garden. Wilson. What the fuck? Okay. This is how we're going to get by it. There you go. Oh, wait. This is how we're going to do it. Is my mic even on? It is. Okay. We're building a map of all the players with names of Europe. That's what I'm doing. Yep. find his obituary I'm going through fucking records uh, Denmark oh uh, Swede Swede Malmberg okay Th that's just his nickname here's Swede Larson do we count Swede Larson? Because it's Sweden. Are we going this far? There's another guy. Oh, here's Johnny Johnston. Nice. We need Belgium, Norway, and Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. We have... Oh, isn't there a guy named Liechtenstein? Liechtenstein. I hate this shit. <laughs> I hate this. God damn it. He's he's not dead. We just know he's alive. Ed Lichtenstein could be out there. This one's going to be fun because there's no fucking way we were going to get someone else for Lichtenstein. Oh, this counts. And then Swede counts. All right, we'll do Swede. Swede Reisenberg. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good photo of Swede Reisenberg. There we go. There we go. Come on. Swede. Yeah, Nor. Oh, that's Nord. Norway. Norse? Oh, yeah, Norse might be good. What is happening? Norsen. Norse Setter. Can you even see me? Hi there. So, what is happening? We are building a map of everyone that has a name with a country name, a baseball. We're building a map of them. And we're getting really specific with it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We found some really obscure people. Norwood? But that's an English place. That's not Nor Norway. That's my one hold up. Oh, I need to bring this back up. Too. JP? No! Oh, it's only seven days, though. So we're good. With a concussion. That's fine. Oh, we need Italy. Italo Cellini. That is offensive. And he's from San Francisco. That is hilarious. 
I have to leave again, but Gavin Lux for Luxembourg. Oh, that's a great suggestion. Shit, that's a good one. All right, we're going to do that one next. That's a good one. I was thinking, I was like, there's someone with Lux. He has to tend to J.P. Crawford. He's leaving us forever. Forever and ever and ever. Uh, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux hair. Why is that the second highest one? Is this why? To deal with my family. Where are your family now? Jesus. Rip Prima. <laughs> trying to find a good photo of him. This is a good photo. Last in peace. Family. Exactly. That's my reaction to this information. Um, we can start to arrange this shit. Fuck it. Yeah, we can start to arrange these. Boom, there we go. Uh, shit, now we have to start arranging them. Fortnite balls, I agree. It would be really cool if they added Oppenheimer to Fortnite. Gavin Lux is a glitch in franchise. And also, yeah, good, good evening, TDVR. I know this is exactly what my uh, fucking title says. Oh, we've reached the limit of the map. The Titanic has reached its resting point. She got some more dough. Nice. Almond milk. I like normal milk, I'll be honest. Normal milk is way better. Spain. I'll be honest. Even for as much gaming as I've done in my life, I've actually never played fucking Fortnite. Not in a bad or good way, just in a I've never played it. Oh, wait. Okay, this is actually what I want to do. Hold on. I, what I <laughs> kind of actually want to do is this. Is it, yes, it does that. Just got 99? Fuck yeah, dude. Your luck is turning around. Fuck no. Um... Selling them both. <laughs> Chat, is this real? This is actually real. This is really real. Can I get it? <laughs> to say Bobby Spain. Damn it, I wanted it to say Bobby Spain. No way. Yes way, dude. A hundred percent real. There we go. Fuck it, go. Then Mark Portugal. Wait, I don't want to actually sell. Yeah, Morneau actually bangs, dude. I've been using him a good deal lately. There we fucking go. <laughs> All right, uh, then go here. Oh, wait, no, uh, this one. A 
opinions on Mike Trout. Uh, most people don't like my opinions on Mike Trout, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm what one might call a Mike Trouter, Mike Trout uh, doubter. <laughs> no, wrong one. Wait, wrong one. No. My cat is right in front of me. I never sell cards. Yeah, I'm bad at flipping in the game, too. I have my cat right in front of me. I just think Trout's kind of fucking overrated, I'll be honest. He has, like, hundreds of hits less than so many other players. And they're like, he has fucking thousand, fucking a hundred war. <laughs> Why? I can talk about it in depth, but I would need a fucking essay. But it's just, it very much feels like the media wants him to be a star, but he does not want to be a star. And how they uh, push him, it doesn't very feel authentic. And that's okay. He doesn't need to be a star. If, you know, he can just go out and be a good baseball player. But at the same time, as a viewer and a, someone who likes to watch baseball, I don't find his game all that very interesting. I like guys with some personality to their game, people who are exciting. And he might come up and hit big home runs every once in a while or have a big game. But the person himself, you, I like that you can see my cat's ears right there as I'm ranting because my cat is right in front of me. But I just have never, like, I came back to following baseball kind of after he had his prime in the mid 2010s. So I've only seen his tail side. Uh, I don't think Buxton is better. I wish Buxton was better. I really do. Um, it's just th the amount of people who push him, it's very hard to be on that side. He's only 32. Yeah, but he's already starting to decline. Uh, you can see it in his speed. You can see it in some of his power. But um, yeah, it's just, it's always, uh, I don't know. It, it's very funny to see, like, on baseball subreddits and, like, MLB. He was, like, the top five hitter, like, top three hitter on the MLB rankings. When he had across the board, uh, he was, like, 20th in every single stat. And it's just funny to me that they would put him up there for that. And it's that kind of stuff that irritates me. And that's no credit to him. I mean, when he sprints, yeah, but he's just not stealing anymore. He's just not very much running. He's just much more power. And that's because he's been hurt for the past few years. He hasn't had a full season since 2019. He hasn't had a full season. Because, I mean, no one had a full season in 2020. 2021, he was injured. 2022, he had a full, he had a couple big injuries. This year, he's been playing as much as he can, but still. Uh, I mean... Here's the thing. He's a great baseball player. He's in the marquee of star players. It's just I don't find him as interesting as other players. Like, I think Mookie, for example, I think he's way more interesting. I think he's a way more fascinating player. I think he's m more entertaining uh, just because he doesn't put up as big or numbers as Mike Trout. Uh, it's just not the same thing. I don't know. He's like white bread, I'll be honest. He's very, like... People will freak out at you for hating that, but it's like, it's very plain. I don't know. Uh, I like my guys who are addicted to cocaine and on the verge of being sent to jail for a litany of offenses. <laughs> now, let me show you my fucking baseball card of Rod LaFleur. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, as much as I fucking hate uh, Mike Trout, or at least as much... I don't hate Mike Trout. I hate the obsessive fans of Mike Trout. The people who are like crazy. Uh, white bread is delicious though. Oh yeah, I don't hate on white bread. French baguettes, top tier. Top tier bread right there. Um, Mookie is a cheetah though. That whole situation is so hard. Because here's the thing. Back, back in the day, but like early baseball and stuff like that, everyone was cheating. Everyone was trying to get an advantage. So it's hard to parse out who's good and who's bad. You have a rookie card of Sammy Sosa. Funny, f fun fact, as a kid, I got a Sammy Sosa's card from a ice cream, like, giveaway. Like, they gave out baseball cards in packets of ice cream. And I told my parents, this is going to be worth a lot someday. Put this in the safe, this Sammy Sosa baseball card. Still in my parents' safe, not worth anything. 
They just got a new safe a couple weeks ago. Card's still there. Not worth a damn thing. <laughs> but no, I mean, Trout is definitely a wor Hall of Famer. As much as I hate it, he has the uh, resume to do it. So he's, he's going there. There we go. Who is this? Jesse English. My cat's staring at me. My favorite thing is uh, Braves fans will sometimes accuse Twins fans of being cheaters. Or not Twins fans, but the Twins of cheating in 1991 uh, for, for our World, World Series. But it's not like some intricate conspiracy of cheating. It's they turned the fans on at the Metrodome and Kent Herbeck ripped Ron Gant off of first base. So it's not a giant system. It's just <laughs> you motherfuckers cheated. <laughs> you played dirty. Jesse English goes up here. My cat's fucking f fat head is in the way. God damn it. My day. Ugh. Though it was smart this year for the show developers. I'm moving my cat out of the way. Ugh. I looked it up on PSA. The card was worth $2. Yeah, that's pretty much what my card is worth. We can look that up. Uh, oh, there's this one. Where is it? Um, Sammy Sosa. Ice cream. Baseball card. Yeah, two dollars, baby. Woo! Cashing out, motherfuckers. This is the one from fucking Nestle. Where are the other ones? Because it says five of six. Shipping, $17. What the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Brace fans can be... Either they're really chill or they're extremely passive aggressive. <laughs> there is no in-between. It's very fun. I'm not going to get every island, I'll be honest. That is a terrible one. That is fucking hilarious. Um, oh, we can put this in there. Fuck. No. Just, there we go. There we go. Motherfucker. There we go. All right, we're acknowledging fucking Northern Ireland's uh, sovereignty. We're good. There we go. Uh, oh, Ireland. Wait. No, that's Turkey. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's put Turkey in, because that one actually looks pretty funny. I like that one. That one's pretty funny. Um... This is the dumbest stream idea I've had in a long time, but I actually really like it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Hold on. What is your favorite? Other than baseball? Ooh, probably football. I'd say football is, football is second. Uh, basketball is going to be third. Uh, I root for the Eagles and then the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, those are my other t sports teams. With football coming up, it will be exciting to see how things go. More of that car game. Yeah, I'm thinking about... I So I'm thinking about stuff for the crew. I want to do something with that. I thought it was a lot of fun that we had going there. And that was just us driving around, kind of fucking around. Uh, so I'm thinking of, of something to do with that. One idea I had was... Um, tennis is your favorite sport? Makes sense. Because you're doing so well in your... Uh, in your tournament there. Uh, let me put this there. That makes sense. People who are good at something usually really enjoy it. Oh, this will be funny. It'll just say German Marquez and it's just all of Germany. Oh, that's this is gonna be a good one. Mm. 
ads? Do you, are you guys getting ads right now? Let me know. When I set this up, I kind of set it up really quick, so I'm not sure if I had if I pressed everything correctly. Uh, so I might have accidentally turned mid rolls on. I'm also a broke motherfucker, <laughs> so like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> you got some ads? What are they for? What do my fans target get targeted by? That's what I'm curious. Oh, that's a good thing. That's good. That's a good one. It's fine. I understand. I appreciate it. You're the best. Are you Dementia on Twitch? Do you have a Twitch account? Nothing, I have eye blocker. Rich motherfucker. Clash of Clans and Fish Brain. <laughs> so we're getting ca Clash of Clans. Interesting. No, you do not have Twitch. Okay, good to know. So I will be honest here. For future streams, I have thought about going back to Twitch to stream. Not because this place isn't fun. Because, uh, uh, streaming here is a lot of fun. You guys are a lot of fun. But uh, there's just a lot more of interactivity on Twitch. And there's actually theory. It's just uh, talking of uh, people talking about, you know, content creation and stuff like that. Uh, oh, that's terrible. On there. No, don't go to Twitch. All my favorite streamers on YouTube go to Twitch. Well, th so this is what I'm talking about. Um, like they talk about the difference of streaming on YouTube and the diff and streaming on Twitch, and like the communities there and stuff like that. So that's why I was just asking, because uh, I know you, if I I know Prima, like for example, he doesn't have a Twitch account. So that's why I was just asking. So if you, so if like you guys, because you guys are a majority, and you guys are some of my most active participants here, because you guys don't have fucking Twitch accounts. I'm probably not going to now, but it was something I was thinking about. Now it's just time to fucking convince you guys to get Twitch accounts. I promise it's fun there. Because we can gamble. That's the thing. That's the fun part. We can gamble. Oh, fuck. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's because that's where a lot of the streams are. But because YouTube is a little bit er newer when it comes to streaming services or like the streaming capabilities. Twitch has more things like channel points and re uh, raids and redeemabilities and stuff like that. So that's why I was just asking. I was looking into it this past week. But now you, you are a lot of fun. So I wouldn't just throw you in the dust like that. It's not like I have a lot of people waiting for me on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not fucking XQC where I'm signing a $50 million contract. <laughs> it's like, all right, I have 10 people here. I have six people there. What's a little bit more fun? And it's here currently. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Whoopsies. We're building this motherfucker out. Okay. Uh, check. Czech Republic is here, because the other one will be Slovakia. Monty, what are you doing up here? What are you doing? You want to sit down? 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 You want to sit your fat ass down? There you go. Though you should. <laughs> Get a Twitch account. <laughs> Hold on. I don't even get him, I'll be honest. 
I don't get the fan base. I don't get it all. I feel it makes me feel old. Like, what the fuck is this point? Like the people I watch on Twitch, I don't watch too many people. I, I watch a few. Like maybe five, if that, if that. And each one of them, I don't want to say has a purpose because that sounds very de dehumanizing. But each of them has their specialty or each one of them is doing something fun and interesting to watch. They're not just reacting. <laughs> I don't get it. Monty is directly in front of my freaking screen. Dude, just sit down. Just sit. Just just chill. Just just sploof. Just sploof there, my boy. And then he just do, just creates a whole shitload of fucking drama for no <laughs> for no reason and it's like what's going on? What's the point? Oh, Denmark is going to be a fucking bitch. Holy shit. Okay, fuck. Okay. Yeah, it's, I don't get it. Like the big guys I watch. Monty might be hungry. Probably is. That would not be the first time he's hungry. <laughs> I want to finish this, though. Who the fuck are you? Okay, this is Italy. I remember this. We'll shape you like a boot. Go feed him, bro. No, he's just chilling right now. Now he's just chilling. I'll wait. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Monty's just chilling for right now. Oh, we needed to do. Does this have the bottom or the top one? Hold on. Feed us. Uh, Sardinia. Sardinia. And Italian island. Okay, it's the bottom one. He just turned off my f God damn it, Monty. No. <laughs> Here we go. Do we know a guy? Oh, oh, it's Swisher, not Switzer. Or Swisser. That could be perfect for that one right there. Uh, base layer style. Italy. Uh, oh, and France will need to extend out there. Um, oh, do we know a guy need, named Austria? What did you push down there? Monty, what are you doing? Oh, Lux for Luxembourg. Oh, this is good, because Luxembourg is a giant fucking country. I, I definitely made sure to get a giant image. Does it even fucking show up on this fucking map? Oh, perfect. It's this one. Wait, we don't even have Liechtenstein possible. Hold on. Germany. There we go. Now we can fucking show Liechtenstein. Very small. Monty, stop <laughs> hitting things with your fucking tail. Uh, what's the next one? Liechtenstein. Oh, this is Sweden. I forgot. Or my Sweden. Wee, I can. There we go.
Now he looks like a scary man. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. Oh, and then let me put this around him. And him. And here. And here. Oh, this is looking good. This is the map that they wouldn't teach you in high school. Oh, we need Dutch. We need the Belgium. Oh, who is that motherfucker named Poland? We had some motherfucker named Poland. Poland? Hugh Poland. Yeah, Hugh Poland. I'm gonna grab Hugh Poland real quick. Hugh Poland Hall? What? Baseball. Did he go into baseball afterwards? Ugh, bruh. I, s I feel you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wrong one. Feed the cat. The cat is just chilling. The cat is not doing anything bad, I promise. The cat is a vibe. doing it <laughs> so we have turkey sterns <laughs> wait let me start labeling these motherfuckers Poland's. There we go. Here is a work of art. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Got Turkey. We need to get someone with Greece. Maybe someone with Macedonia. Mace or something. Donia. Uh, Romania. Bulgaria. Oh, they're... Is there a motherfucker named Bulgaria? Bulger? No. Bulgaria. Bulga? Brandy Bulger? That's close. Beautiful. Thank you. Maybe there's a guy named Greek. No. There's a bunch of guys named Greek. Like, that are Greek. We can just finish here, right? I mean, yeah, I was going to say we can just finish here. I was just seeing if there's anyone else. We can, fi like, come back to this in another time. But, yeah, this is a good start. We got most of Western Europe done, which is pretty fucking funny. In my own time, I can find Dutch. Because I know uh, there's a thousand guys named Dutch. Like the Flying Dutchman, the Flying Frying Dutchman. Uh, try notable cities. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we have the capitals as well. So we put some guy's face inside of another guy's face. Oh, Athens? Oh, that could be a good one. Let me try Athens. There's Alex Athenson and then Anthony Athens. Or what? Sparta? Kantos? Nickname Spartanburg John. What? Oh, he's because he's from Spartanburg. That's why. Uh, George Contos. Nickname Spartan. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's other ones. Mykonos. <laughs> Crete. Oh. 
Cree 10. Can I have a look at the 99 DeGrom? Oh, yeah, we can boot that up. I think I might actually need to close Naval Art. Hold on. Oh, my God. I had a task manager out of Naval Art. Uh, where's Naval Art? There's Naval Art. End task. There we go. Okay. I'll pull up. Fuck it. Hopefully, my OBS will uh, show off this. I'll probably be back tomorrow with a stream as well. That's actually about MLP the show. I just wanted to play the fucking naval game. It's so fun, dude. It's so fun. Okay, hold on. Um, game capture. Capture specific window. Can you... Steam Deck. Properties. Steam Deck. Double stream. I mean, I don't have anything else to do, I'll be honest. That's the problem. So, capture device, properties. Okay, good. This one works. Display capture two. Wait, video capture device. There we go. Can we do the franchise? Uh, we can try and start it. See what's going on. See if it works out properly. Oh my gosh, I got a pack. Let's see if I pulled 99. Damn it. Oh, I got Joe Smith. His card last year actually fucked. I loved that card. I would totally want it back. Uh, we take out the grab. Oh, wait, my one. Shit. <laughs> I promise I wasn't sleeping earlier today. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Here's my face. Where is it? Okay. 600 grand. Lordy. Oh, roster updates? Yeah, you can check it. Does anyone have it? P1? Christ. Three hit game for Singleton. He's getting that tops now. He's getting that tops now. Uh, what? Player updates? Roster updates this is what it was. Oh, Lodi. Freddie Freeman up three. What up, Eli? Strider minus. Jose Ramirez. <laughs> Seeger plus two. Bellinger plus four. Damn, Belly is up to a fucking diamond. Not bad. He was like silver or almost bronze last year. Good to see. Olsen is barely diamond, even though he's like one of the best hitters in the fucking NL. Which is funny to see. Bobby Witt. Uh, Luis Castillo. For some reason, they made Pablo Lopez uh, the only diamond pitcher on the Twins roster, even though he is the third or fourth worst pitcher on the Twins. Don't understand that. Wander. Macho Man. Whew. Oh, sorry. Oppenheimer up to 84. He really does look like fucking Robert or uh, Cillian Murphy, which is pretty funny. Uh, Bo at 84. Chaz at 84. Who is the biggest one? Oh, yeah. Fucking. Uh, Cal Raleigh's up to fucking 83. He jumped to gold. Yeah, Hassan Kim is diamond, too. Up to 85, which is pretty lit. <laughs> they made Robert a diamond out of sequence and then brought him down, which is so weird. Uh, trying to see who has the biggest... Uh, move what no oh toggle all oh, that's all new players okay i see i see oh wait who are new players Let's 
Stop tossing things out. Harrison Hancock, Weston Wilson. Robbie Enrique, William Wood. Juan Brito. Oh, this is the guy they trade Nolan Jones for. That's funny. Cole Tucker. Hell yeah. The guy who's dating my dream woman from when I was a teenager. And he's a 63 overall. Dog. She can do so much better. No. Zach Neal. Zach Neal's a 48. Jesus Christ. And then this is the team I've been working with. They released this uh, retired uh, retired numbered program today, but all of it is just milestones, which is so weird. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, th this is what they released today. <laughs> I'm almost done with the retirement prayer. Fuck yeah, dude. As you can see, I'm like a quarter done. I just was doing some moments and then collected two cards. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, when my biggest complaint is the physical card art itself, which is the pixels, I still consider it a win. I'll be honest. If it's merely the graphics, that's the, the smallest thing you can say. Because I think all the players in it are pretty nice. Mantle hits like a fucking home run every hit. Ripken's real nice. Baines is nice. Uh, this is the fourth Dennis Eckersley card they have released this year. All closers. All with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, so... I don't understand why they keep releasing Dennis Eckersley's cards. Um, but whatever. I do wish this uh, card art was a little bit cooler, but again, that's a pedantic uh, complaint. Could you rebuild my Mets on stream? Is that who we should uh, redo? Like who we should start? Use current rosters. Should we use current rosters or default rosters? Because I think default rosters would give us better teams. Oh my god. 23rd for the, for current rosters. Let's go start new use default rosters. And then let's go to the Mets. 7th. Wow. Ooh. That's harsh. That's a that's a falling apart. <laughs> that is brutal. Ugh. But yeah, we can probably do something with the Mets. Because, I mean, do current. So that's who we have now. Or like what would be just starting. We do, we're not going to start it right now, but we can see what's up. Need a hitter. Four trades. Ignore about it. It's extra inning. Uh, oh, fantasy draft. We'll redo this next stream, but we can just see what's up. Oh, we get the third pick. What? Guys, who should we pick? Otani, Judge, or fucking Trout? <laughs> hmm. Let's go, Otani. Uh, fans. What a weird thing. Oh, and then we get the fucking worst pick in the next round. But we still get a 90. <laughs> That's funny. 
starting pitcher, relief pitcher, AJ Minter, closer. We could just build the worst. Matt Chapman. Come on, what? Dansby, Taylor Ward, Tyler O'Neill, George Springer. Let's go Freddie. Matt Olson. Oh, I already picked. Again, like I said, this is just us doing it real quick. Matt Olson. Let's see if he's... Yeah, we can pull him up. We're doing both. <laughs> Fuck it. We really are fucking Will Palm. Or uh, Cohen. Next up. Oh, we can get Munoz. Or we can get Gausman. Michael King, Presley, Garcia, Edmund, Snell, Liam Hendricks. Ooh. Oh, we can get Story. We can pull up on Story. Move Freddy to the third, then. That would be a good move. Munoz. Gausman. Gausman? All right, we can get a second rotation. Again, this is just me seeing what the fuck is going on. Who's that? Who's available for, for, short, for short stops? Ooh, let's get Edmund. And then why is Munoz still available? Does no one just want relief pitchers? Okay, do we take Darno or fucking Duran? Because Duran will throw 105 fucking miles an hour. What was 680? Yeah, I feel that. Darnell is also a fucking monster. Oh, he's 34, though. I think we're going Duran. Get Salvi? Yeah, but Salvi's 32. It's the one issue. Salvi? Okay. If, we're, if Duran's available, okay, I'm taking Duran. Duran's mine. I want Duran in a Mets uniform because that's fucking cursed. How many rounds is this? <laughs> but those stats. But those stats. Oh, we could have Munoz set up for fucking uh, is, uh, Duran. That'd be great. Uh, Strausberg? Do we take on Strausberg? Yeah, but he also throws 106 miles an hour. So Nathan Evaldi. Oh, Sterling Marte. Do we get some guy with some speed? Gene Segura, no. Yeah, you have uh, personal problems with that. Uh, Robbie Ray, oh, Robbie Ray, get an outfielder. Biggest one would be Marte, but he's old. I'm going with Marte. Oh, they took him. Nimmo, Nimmo is a glitch. Nimmo still up round. Brandon Nimmo. He is. Oh. Okay, Nimmo or fucking Stanton? Do we go cursed and get Stanton in a Mets uniform? If Stanton's in the next round, we get him. I saw someone took fucking Luis Rise. That makes me sad. Oh, Kutch. AJ Pollock. Kyle Schwarber. Do we go for Kutch? Oh, no. We need a fucking uh, left fielder. Oh, we can get uh, Macho Man.
and go for it. I think we can get him next. Yeah, we can get him. Boom. How many rounds are there? Nathan Ivaldi? Sonny Ivaldi, Strawman, or Ivaldi? Or we can get Lorenzen. Oh, or do we need a lefty? Robbie Ray or... Now we, now we need another pitcher. This is our mock run. We're going to do this for real next stream. Strowman. But don't we have two righties already? Don't we, shouldn't we get a third or a, a lefty? Let's go starting pitchers. Righty, righty. Stroman is the youngest. That is true. But he is also the same age as Robbie Ray, who is a lefty. That is my counterpoint. What's their stat line like? And they're the same rating, too. So they're the same rating, same age. Budget might be tight, though. We're the New York Mets. Budget does not mean a damn thing to us. Um, Relief pitchers. Oh, let's get Dan uh, Andrew Chafin up in this bitch. Oh, wait. Is Joe Kelly available? Oh, did someone already take Joe Kelly? That's going to make me mad if someone took Joe Kelly already. Or maybe he's down here. Oh, we can get Matt Bush. Nice. He's going to be in the later rounds. Uh, Andrew Chafin. Second base next. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get Chafin. No, he's like a 60. What? <laughs> he's that dude, though. How many rounds are there? <laughs> Sunny Gray is still available. God damn it. Second base. All right, let's go second base. Yeah. Scoop. Oh, Marte. Let's get Marte. Are you opposed to Marte? Marte is so, going to be fucking nice. I don't see anyone here that I would want over Marte, I'll be honest. Jonathan Scoop? No. Marte has two years. Stop at 26? Okay. Yeah. I, I'm saying Marte is my pick. Yeah. That's me. That's a fucking scoop. Okay. Here. Do we have any good relievers? I believe in him, though. Now, there's no, like, good relievers. Oh, wait. Which, which one is this? Oh, we got Taylor Rogers. Ooh, that might be a good... Oh, and Craig Kimball, too. Ooh, that might be a good pickup. Uh, no. Lineup is complete. Shortstop. Yeah, now it's just about filling it out. Oh, let's get a backup uh, catcher here. Jose Trevino, fuck yeah. Mitch Garver, Gary Sanchez, Brandon Belt. Ooh, Brandon Belt. Oh, we already have a. Well, someone's going to be playing at third. Max Muncy, Longoria, Patrick Wisdom. Get a fourth pitcher? Okay, we can do that. Starting pitchers. Is Lorenzen 78 or 79? Sonny or Lorenzen? Sonny? Yeah, I th I'm feeling Sonny, I'll be honest. Sonny Gray, let's do it. All right, 
Next one. Oh, we can get a fourth, a fifth pitcher. We have a good fucking team. Uh, relief. I think Lorenzen only has Steve potential, so he's capped. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, we need to check potential. I keep forgetting about that. That's how you know I'm not good at this game. Ryan Stanek, C potential. Hold on. Who was up here with the fucking B potential I saw? Daniel Hudson. Floro is incredible in this game, unlike in real life. Should we get... Let's just take a flyer on Floro. Oh, Yuri Guriel with A potential still in his late 30s. Get Merrill Kelly. Oh, that could be a good one. Yeah. Last one for the pitchers. Uh, 34, though. Uh, B potential. B potential. B potential. C potential. Eh. C potential. Yeah, let's go. Merrill Kelly. Fuck it. I don't care. Any I don't care anymore. Merrill Kelly definitely sounds like a financial investment firm. Uh, relief pitchers. Low service time, though. Oh, I feel that. Is this the left one? Yes. All right, we're getting Taylor Rogers. Taylor Rogers actually is that dude. What? Yeah, draft Taylor. One more starter for a long delivers. Okay. Let's try and find someone with low stamina. That way you can maybe convert. Or even trade. Oh, Kente. That would be dope. Oh, they all have a lot of high stamina. Who's the worst? <laughs> Who's over here? Manaya? Yeah, we could do that. Just kind of do it like Yanni. Dude, we could pick up Granky. Throw Gank Granky in the pen. Do we want to do that? <laughs> oh, now. He's really old. Oh, Wade Miley, hold on. Oh, he's old too. Fuck. These motherfuckers are old with good potential still. I'm sorry, but you're as you get older, your potential should go down. Yoni Chirinos? Let's do it. I'm going to go to round 20 and then simulate and just see what happens from there on. I don't care. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> We'll do this round and then see what happens. Uh, just go Yanni. Yeah, that's what I did. Third baseman. I love Geo. So we're going with Geo. I'm going to simulate the rest of the draft. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Vance. Oh, I just, I, so we're going to redo, we're going to do this again at the start of the regular season, like tomorrow with the real season. This was just me kind of seeing what's going on. Pitching rotation. Hold on. Is someone in fucking double A? Roster. Starting pitchers. Yoni Chirinos. Great. First, let's go. 
He's fucking a double A. God damn it. Move Freddy the third? Yeah, I, I was thinking that. Okay, roster. Depth charts. No. Oh, fuck. Was it roster? No. Is it li it's lineups. That's what it is. Can you play third? No, you can't. So Freddy goes to third. Geo goes to first. Wait, no. There we go. Sorry for leaving. Just got back from a lit birthday party. Dude, and you didn't invite me? <laughs> no, it's all good. We're just trying something out that we're going to be doing in a future stream, which is kind of a chat-controlled uh, franchise mode. And we are currently kind of setting things up. Oh, we have Josh Donaldson. I didn't even try and choose Josh Donaldson, and we got Josh Donaldson. Fuck yeah. Um, Geo, and then Geo that. Who's our left? Our, uh, nice. Put Kutch in left field over Yoshida. Where are they at? Oh, yeah. I see that. There we go. No DH. Freddy versus over Geo. Kutch. There we go. Oh, and we got Brett Phillips, too. Brent Phillips. There we go. Projected deficit. Nice. Sell, sell, sell. Closing pitcher 28. So we are selling or we're buying there, buying there. We buy there. This is, again, this is just like mock up. This is just like, oh, this, what are we looking for? Um, who's a free agent? Rich Hill. Nice. Mark Melicone. Miguel Cabrera. What? Trade Otani for the best package in baseball. <laughs> yeah, we should put Otani up. We did get... We have to stay in the green for the challenge. No? What's, wait, what do you mean by green? Where? For... For the budget? Which Which part of the green? Or at least for projected yearly deficit? I have to make sure this is in the green. Because I know this isn't as intuitive. Uh, I know this isn't as intuitive as other career modes. Where uh, you can like do things. Don't go into debt. What are you, my mother? <laughs> Just don't go into debt. I do like that, though. There is parameters it's good to have parameters but even for videos um just don't go into debt top prospects who are our top prospects corbin carroll for the guardians anthony volpe for the padres god who is our for top prospect do we not have a top prospect at all we don't have a top prospect <laughs> Budget. Can I do anything about budgeting? Pitching rotation? Oh, yeah, let's go to the pitching rotation. Otani, Gaussman, Ray, Gray, Kelly. And this is our... Uh, oh, yeah, holy shit. What is he doing there? Yeah. Do I want to 
on a player like is Otani? Yes, I do. Bring up Yanni. I mean, this is just a test, just a test game. Pretty much, I think, after this game. Pretty much after this game, I think I'm probably going to end stream, just so I can get a few more things done tonight. But I'm going to stream this uh, tomorrow. Probably, one hundred, like ninety percent chance. Oh shit! Hold on. Where did my stream thing go? Where did you go? Where did you go? What the fuck? There we go. Think we should sim with no key moments. So what would you? Th so I always am conflicted about that, about how much we should sim. What would be, for you guys, what would be a good amount I should sim? Like every few games, every few days, what should it be? Because I can kind of figure that out and get it ready for the stream. Because my biggest thing is uh, I just don't want to play every single game in a season. Oh, baby. Sim till draft. So we just go sim till draft right away with no key moments on. Also put drafting on auto. You just sim everything? But where's the fun? Where's playing the baseball game? For franchise. No scouting. Come on, team. Come on. It's fun rebuilding a team. I mean, yeah, that's what we can focus on. What if we sim to draft, but we turn the critical situations on? And then if there's one that's really fun, we can actually enter it. Because a few of them are pretty cool. Like, so-and-so has a no-hitter going, so-and-so has that. Monty, you are directly in front of my screen. I think I'm on that legend. Oh, they're saying we Vin Diesel doesn't need yacht, he only needs bandwidth. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Say play last two months so you can achieve, either secure or fight for a playoff spot. I like that. I do like that idea. I think that's cool. I think that's a good idea. Basically guaranteed a World Series. Found that turning on key moments affects the team record a lot. It's very basically guaranteed. So I would have the difficulty up be like be up a little bit. So pitching I have it at legend right now. Hitting, I would turn it up to like all star. So there are possibilities of me fucking up. Uh, so we don't necessarily need to do that. But if we have the rebuild, well, see, here's the thing with the fantasy, with the fantasy draft, it's not really a rebuild because we're starting all over in general. So there's also that, but I can get this all kind of figured out and ready for the stream. Uh, but it will be a lot of fun. I'm just going to finish this half inning up. My lip is so swollen. I feel bad for you. My my streams are so dangerous. <laughs> you get in one fight and your life gets changed upside down. We can trade players who aren't doing well for better players. I feel that.
There we go. Oh, let me bomb this motherfucker. And then we can, like, set a goal for players. Because, like, it, we can get set on going with the Mets, but we don't necessarily... Like, we can do the fantasy draft, or we can just straight sim to the draft and then take over the second half, which could be fun. So it's like redoing the Mets second half. I'm just going to quick simulate and exit. Yay. Otani got his first win. Yay. The Mets own Strider. In no matter what form. We should do it with the Mariners. We could do it with the Mariners. Yeah, because I think it would be fun to be with a team that's like kind of uh, in the middle of it. Yeah, I think that will be fun for tomorrow. We can start that, and it will be like kind of the first go of it. See how things are going. Because what? Let me... I have critical situations on. Let me sim to draft day, and we can see how fast it will go. You want to sim 100 days. Ray has a has a shutout going late into the game. So if it's like a shutout like this, we can sim. Who cares? Would you like to stop simulating? No. Today is a scouting assignment. Would you like to stop? S yeah. So we go here. This is when we just go scouting. Priorities. We'll like set them. Oh, wait, no. Uh, skip scouting sets auto. Yes, skip scouting sets auto. Go Mariners. I support that decision. Everyone in my chat is a Mariners fan. Tie game, but Altuve can walk it off. Uh, end it with a walk off. New scouting. Yeah, so like this one would be something we would skip. Oh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Skip. Presley is trying to close you out. Let's get a rally going. No. Jordan Sprinkler. Broken hand. Do not have four auto fixes. Otani has two home runs. This is one we could possibly do. This is one we could possibly do, where it's like hit a, go in and hit a home run. That could be a fun one. Uh, would you like to stop simulating? Castillo is trying to st uh, close you out. This is one that's where it's like, okay, we could possibly play this. Also, make sure to turn off injuries. No, that's no fun. This is how you deal with it. Auto. Marte has a 11-game hit streak. Edmund has a 13 game hit streak. Oh, I press enter. Watch out for us. Right guy, right place. Let's go, babe. Monty just likes hitting everything. There we go. So, yeah, I would turn up hitting high and let, or pitching high, and then we would do. Every few every few minutes, like a critical situation or something. Boop. But with my luck, Otani will be on the 60-day needing time, John. Did you not just watch our fucking Vin Diesel <laughs> streams where that's exactly what fucking happened to Otani, where he fucking ripped out his arm game four of the season? and miss the entire year. I'm still I'll be honest, I'm still not entirely sold on the fantasy draft part of it because if it's a rebuild uh with a fantasy draft we're not really rebuilding, but I'm still up for debate on that. Uh but still it'll be a lot of fun. Lost Mer Merrill Kill review sponsorships, view budget, set trade. Stop attacking my screen, Monty. Ugh. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to call stream. Uh, my cat's very much wanting food. I'm very much wanting food, and I have a couple ideas for what to do tomorrow, and I want to figure it out. But uh, tonight was a good bounce back from being gone for a few days, but I'm glad that you guys showed up and that you guys care.
Now the goal is to multiply you guys by a thousand and have 4,000 people here <laughs> and have that many people leading our franchise. Oh, it's, this is not the uh, loop I had at the beginning. Oh, wait, let me have that go on. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Maybe not fantasy draft. Yeah, that's what. Excited for tomorrow? Yeah, I'm excited for it. To, uh, fantasy draft, maybe not, but we can figure out what we're doing. Because then that's kind of a fun thing because we can just like sim to the draft and we can start to look at prospects. Uh, this is the fake out. I put the fake out back up. I might actually start using this more often. That was really fucking fun. Uh, <laughs> to fucking deceive you guys. I had that idea like early this morning. I was like, oh man, this is going to be fun. But yeah, it will be exciting. Uh, not guaranteed that many ones. Yeah. The problem is if you can get a good guy, like a really good player, a few of them, you can build around it, but <laughs> you could just keep seeing it. God damn it, Monty. The cat is in my way. I'm gonna invite Vinny. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, keep inviting, invite your friends, guys. We're as cringy as this sounds. But there's actual science to it. And word of mouth is the most powerful way that people spread things. Advertisements work to a certain extent, but someone just suggesting, hey, check this out, works so many times better than uh, advertisements, promotions, propaganda, whatever. Uh, the one time I can remember is me telling my friend, hey, check out this podcast. And now he and I are obsessed with this podcast. So, uh, his family calls me. Oh, I love you. Uh, yeah, I'll get show you that link after the stream. But yeah, so just tell your friends about this stuff. We're always doing weird things. Uh, President's video next week. I'll be able to finish it in time for next week. Like I said, I have my power shut off uh, for a day, and I lost a lot of time. I wasn't able to finish it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end stream and uh, give Vichin that link. But tomorrow will be fun. We'll be doing this thing. This chat led uh, franchise. But, yeah. Thank you guys all for coming out, and I hope you guys have a good Where's that screen? That's not the one. That's the one. That's the one. I got the right screen. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for coming out and having a great night. You guys make it so fast. I'll see you guys later. I know it was a little bit shorter, but it will be fun tomorrow night. Peace.